Hello everyone, Cherie Wayman here from Fankel Made. Welcome to the third part of the video, How to Create Stickers and Labels. In this, we're covering the printing and cutting process. So let's get started. Now that you have the design layout you want on the paper, a couple of last checks, make sure that your computer is connected to the cutting machine and you can verify that it's been recognized by going up to the send button on the top right hand corner and checking that down in this area it says ready. Return to the design area again, that design space and over on the top left hand uh, area of the menu there is a printer icon, click on that. This is the screen that comes up with standard edition. It might be different for designer and business editions of Silhouette Studio. But follow the prompts, print, and then you come up with your own computer window for the printer. Select the printer you want. And this is a good point to do some final checks there. Make sure that the layout of the printer paper, the print quality, etc. is all matching yours for the cutting machine. So it's in portrait, inkjet paper, and get the best print that you can. It says best on my particular printer. OK all the way back and then select print. Once the printing's completed, I shall return to you. I've put the sheet onto the mat, making sure that the grid lines are not exposed on the left and the top of the mat because the optical eye on the machine may see something and uh, it may affect the way the registration marks are read. Another thing to note is that I have put a book underneath just so that the mat lays a little flatter. On the new machines there are storage drawers and roll feeders which can do the same job. You might also want to have one at the back but make sure it doesn't obstruct the feed of the mat going through. Equally make sure that the machine is far away from the wall or any other obstructions so the mat doesn't crumple up on the other side too. So now we're ready to load the mat. And go back to the computer. This time you go to the send button at the top right hand corner. Make sure that you have the correct material selected. I wanted sticker paper white, which is what's on the screen now. But you have a variety of different materials on this screen to choose from. For some reason though I'm on sketch so I make sure that I'm on cut and it populates the correct depth of the blade. Uh, my Cameo is the original version so I'm still on the manual blade adjustment but with new cameos and portraits coming through you do have automatic blades as well. If you have tested the paper, you might want to change the force or the speed accordingly, but I'm going for the default here because I know that works. And down here, as long as we're connected, I just click send. It's reading the registration marks now to check the correct positioning before it starts cutting. And we'll just unload it from the machine. 
Here are the final stickers. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you'd like to keep an eye on future videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching today and take care. Bye for now.